So New Zealand have done it. They have won the rugby championship, beating Argentina in Argentina, 35 17 what a result and they are champions of the rugby championship here's my recap and my review of the match if you do enjoy subscribe like and comment your thoughts down below let's do it so that's right new zealand have won the rugby championship winning pretty comfortably out in argentina and it started perfectly for them in the third minutes when a misclearance from bertrano the argentina player gave them a line out taylor a lovely ball in came up naholo came through ben smith ben smith then pulled in the final man and ione came in and crossed over and new zealand were leading already leading again in the 19th 19th minute they got their next try this time the all blacks have a five meter scrum out the all blacks then uh, give the ball to naholo who stretches out his arm and scores and it's only 19 minutes gone and it's looking very good for new zealand 31 minutes then ione he gets the ball spreads through onto the 22 runs away to score and the tmo checks it and confirms it's a try there 21 points to three up in the 36th minute, though, the ref has had enough of New Zealand's um, ill-discipline and making silly mistakes, and Sonny Bill Williams is sent to the sin bin for 10 minutes for an offside position. The ref has had enough, and he's like, it's time to go to the sin bin. And you'd think Argentina would make something of this time, but unfortunately, they don't until later on. But New Zealand score again in the 56th minute to basically wrap up the game. A line out, Surveyor takes it, the All Blacks drive, and Tupoli gets over for his first test try for the All Blacks and secures a bonus point win. But Argentina came back in this one, 60 minutes in, Augustine's try, um, Argentina get a try through Cabelli. It looked like Tevo had saved it, but the TMO decided that he hadn't, and it was a try for Argentina. And again, Argentina came back and scored once again, but New Zealand wrapped it up in the 74th minute through Ashton Brown, and he secured the title for New Zealand. What a performance from New Zealand, what a reaction considering the match against South Africa last weekend, they have now managed to win it, finally. My question to you guys, let me know in the comments, is are New Zealand, are they 100% favourites for next year's World Cup? Are they untouchable for next year's World Cup? Of course, we saw South Africa beat them last week, but is that just a one-off performance from New Zealand, a poor performance? Is that just a one-off performance? I think it is. I think New Zealand are clear favourites to win the World Cup next year. I can't see anyone stopping them. I don't see any team that's going to improve enough over the year to be able to stop New Zealand. But what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. But a very professional performance from New Zealand. They got the job done. In a very difficult place to go. Argentina are a decent side now. They are not walkovers. They are not a 100% um, um, win guarantee when you go and play against them either home or away. And for them to have been in this competition now, it just means that they can develop and get better. And then hopefully in next year's World Cup, they'll be pushing for the semi-finals, quarter-finals at least. That would be a disappointment if they didn't get there. But New Zealand are champions. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do subscribe, like the video, and check out the rest of the content on Base Rugby. Thanks for watching. Peace.